Good morning guys. Me and Sarah currently are in Gladstone and I have just become incredibly sick for some reason. I have no idea why. I think my sister got it from my boss and I got it from my sister and then I've probably given it to Sarah but it's all a bit unfortunate. So um, today I just wanted to apologize for the, the terrible upload schedule. I know that for the first time since I really started uploading regularly I actually missed four days and I just I feel absolutely terrible because I know this is something I want to do so you know it's I have to I have to make sure I'm pushing myself and you know this week has just been so relaxing and I know there's probably you know there's probably time that I could have put in into my videos and stuff like that another thing was I can only make one video while I'm here because I completely forgot my laptop charger I brought my laptop it's fully charged so I can only make one video and I have to really quickly like smash it out like really quickly so I'm gonna do that straight after I make this hope you guys enjoy it and I thought I would just quickly do another little weekly update um, just about how the car's going and stuff like that this one won't be massive um, so I'll quickly just show you around and I'm guessing you guys probably saw the cinematic footage that I put in before the video um, that is what the car now looks like with the camber arms and I will show you that right now so I couldn't show you this angle before, but the camber arms literally make the rim sit flush up against the guard. I'm so happy with how it turned out. And so once the camber arms were fitted, I then took it over to Gene Rhodes, who is my suspension guy. So as I said before in a couple of other videos, Gene Rhodes, um, I would only ever trust him with my suspension uh, simply because he's done it for years and years and years. And um, he was actually a drifter back in New Zealand. So I let him tackle my car and he then produced this, which is basically how low my car is and I love it. So this is how low my car now sits all around. As you can see at the front, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the top of the tire. So, you know, it sort of sits there. Um, I don't have any rubbing issues or anything. And then around at the back, it's tucking just the top of the tread. It's absolutely beautiful. That's exactly how I wanted my car from the very start. And as you can see, fitment is absolutely amazing. I can like, I can, oh, that way I can actually get a couple of fingers up, but this way over here, I'm pretty sure. This one over here, oh yeah, it's not too bad. All in all, I do want to make my car a little bit less cambered at the rear. I know I just installed camber arms and stuff like that, but it's something I needed to do so I could get a proper alignment done. So now I'm going to make sure I tee up an alignment as well. They'll be able to camber at my rears so it misses by like just a mil or something like that. Just enough to make sure that it won't rub. On the front, I have no issues whatsoever, so they're just going to do a, a normal alignment on the front. So it shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. So yeah, massive thank you to Gene Rhodes and Matthew Jameson because they've just honestly helped me out so much with this car and I'm falling in love with that fitment. It's so nice. Also, I went out yesterday and I bought, a, I did a massive purchase for this car and as you can see right here, this is like the best smelling thing I think I've ever got for my car. I saw it in a customer's car when I was once uh, working back at working back at Nissan as a customer car cleaner. And um, oh my god, it just smelled amazing. And I finally got it for my car, finally found it there at Kmart. And I just absolutely love them. My car has been smelling absolutely amazing. It's probably the reason I got sick, but it's so worth it for that. Apart from that, my car is honestly so dirty right now. Like I just, it's so feral. So next week is actually going to be a really massive week uh, for my car especially. Uh, me and Sarah are going to Sydney and uh, I know I have absolutely no money for it but me and Sarah are going to Sydney so I'm hoping that we can manage to make up a couple of videos this weekend even though I'm pretty sick. I'll try and manage to make up a few videos and then I'll try and just film random stuff of me and Sarah in Sydney. I know it won't be the most interesting vlog but hopefully you guys can understand why I want to get Sarah more involved with my videos and stuff like that. Um, she's an absolutely huge part of my life and I want to start doing more of that sort of stuff in my videos. But yes, I'll try and sort out a couple of videos for you guys so you don't get bored while I'm away. Um, I probably should have done it with this Cluston trip, but it was just too far and I was just too busy trying to get here and stuff like that. So, uh, But as for my car, it's going in for a uh, full paint correction plus ceramic coating plus just fix everything. I literally just said to Cody, all right, my roof's fading. It's going to start slowly fading away. And it's starting to fade. It's starting to chip, starting to crack. You know, it's just, oh, I just, I'm, I'm over it. I, I really want it to be. I really wanted it to be fixed. So anyway, I said to my detailer, I'm like, okay, how much to just fix this? How much to just fix the roof? And then he's like, yeah, this. And I'm just like, how much to fix the headlights and stuff like that? Because I need a restoration. He's like, this much. And this was over about three months. And I just kept going back and forth with him, just going, okay, how much for this? How much for this? And in the end, I'm just like, right, I have some money sitting here. Let's just, let's just do the whole thing. So anyway, we ended up going to his place and we 
went around the whole car and this is what he said it needed and I just asked for the price and he, I just said fix it and he's gonna fix that this week so that'll be just before all four day which I'll be filming all four day as well um, yeah so I hope you guys really enjoy the video and I hope you're really keen for what Cody's gonna be doing to my car I can't wait to see what he does to my car um, yeah it's just gonna be a really short little video so I'm sorry guys but I'll try and upload it tonight so that way you guys can see it and um, yeah anyway I will see you all later